Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here, and as you may know, today was the Black Ops Cold War Zombies reveal, where they revealed the um, intro cutscene and the reveal trailer along with the devs talking about some stuff, so I recommend checking that out if you haven't done so already. However, there's some interesting stuff that you're going to want to know that they posted in this blog post that we're going to review today. So um, I'm going to skip through most of the stuff that they mention. Um, because it's basically all the stuff that was in the trailers. But, um, starting here, it says, which wasn't mentioned in the trailer, we'll be playing as operators from multiplayer and even people from campaign. So just Adler, Sims, and uh, Frank Woods. Yes, you read that right, yeah. Alright, Requiem and Omega, we heard about that. Requiem's the CIA kind of group, and Omega's the Russian scientist group kind of competing to harvest the dark Aether energies. Now let's talk gameplay. So, something I noticed here is they talk about, you know, old perks returning, but you'll find upgradable, upgradable fan favorite perks. So perks will be upgradable in Black Ops Cold War. That's interesting. We'll have to see how that works. There's a new perk called Elemental Pop, and this modifies your ammo types in a pinch. So maybe like the double pack effect, uh, double pack effects from old games just as a perk. Now, maybe something like that, we'll have to wait and see. He'll pack a bunch of your arsenal for massive upgrades, roll a ray gun, a mystery box, weapons at wall buys, you know, blah blah blah, normal zombie stuff. They're upping the ante by bringing in new mechanics like weapon rarities, discoverable loot, field upgrades, support weapons, persistent loadouts, and even the optional choice to exfil from the map with your squad, we saw that. There's also score streaks, such as, you know, we saw the sentry gun, the chopper gunner. Um, they say they're dedicated to keeping classic elements of zombies that worked well in the past while adding fresh new layers of fun. So yeah, of course, there's going to be crossplay, bring the zombies community together, stuff like that. Uh, free DLC, and one last thing, there's more intel for zombies to come, but last thing for now, it's a teaser for Dead Ops Arcade 3, which was leaked, so that's pretty cool. Anyways guys, this is just a short little review of this blog post reviewing some of the new stuff they mentioned here, which actually wasn't in the official reveal or in the uh, intro cutscene or the trailers or anything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button if you want to see some more zombies and you're hyped for Black Ops Cold War Zombies because I will be covering it a whole bunch more. And uh, of course tutorials will be coming back for Cold War as well. So yeah, be sure to drop a sub if you want to see some more. And I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace out.